add that on mute. <laughs> Welcome back, followers of the light. Welcome back to another video. Okay, so earlier I got a warning on YouTube for spamming 10 second long videos. I thought it was because it's a... Uh, the, the photo is on Instagram, so if you're there you will see it. Uh, three of them uh, to the new project, and I don't know if for some reason OBS... I cannot move anything even though it is not locked. I repeat, nothing in my canvas the screen is locked and I cannot move it. I don't know what happened, so I can't really change anything. Now that that's out of the way, what is this to the right? My split screen. Well, this is a script. I repeat, a script to my new project. Cur currently, while Model Viewer the, is bugged, I downloaded the new install, uh, the latest update, I don't know the date. However, I cannot, well, close. <laughs> I can't even, well, a tabard, nothing. I forgot to uh, go into the, does this one a menu where you can change your... I have to... Okay, let me back up. I have a Pandaren, right? I have it. For some reason on that model, her tabard goes through her clothes. And the only way to correct it is if you go into this one menu, go find the tabard unclick it, uncheck it, to turn it off, so your tabard does not stick through your pants. <laughs> so, if though, so, but that's only her tabard skirt thingy. Uh, yeah. If you're not a Pandoran female, you would not understand. I don't know if the, uh, any of the other characters have settings like that. Um, it, it's where your bones are and stuff, your skeleton. So yeah, that's fun. That's why my my characters have no clothes on except for the underwell. Oh wait, my demon hunter has literally nothing. Not even the naughty bit, so don't even go there. Don't, don't. And now I don't know how to paint, so I'm not even going to do that. Because I, I for one, no, and no. <laughs> so now that funny moment is over. Yeah, while Model Viewer bugged, can't well close. But I am still working on my script. So this is a script from a noob's perspective turned into oh wait you came for me because you thought I was hot okay I see where this is going there is a hidden joke a joke at myself because I've had this happen to me multiple times person comes up to me says hey you're sexy I like your content and then I never hear from them again it has happened. So that's why I said hidden joke. Undertone. So yeah, the, and there could be more hidden agendas that I won't get into is for you to theory, theorize. So yeah, this is what I have so far. I have 3,149 characters. Every little space, louder, etc. 642 words because I have to put in player and I have to put in emote. 
So this is uh, this is the beginning of the educational point of the video after the the joke of oh I'm sexy is that all is that really why you're here and he's like uh so I finally got his script going uh I play three jokes you can be my love doctor <laughs> and I'm like okay it is a form of healing, however, it is also a form of energy vampireism. So be careful on that one. So that's kind of what I <laughs> I have so far. And player three also says, I had no idea my little joke would be a nasty one. Please forgive me. And then he begs. Oh, I have to add that. Uh, I'll just before or after no, no I'll I'll put it on on this okay beg emote wait can I not undo that oh never mind fixed it but yeah this is just my uh, I'm working in common content yeah, come in, come, whatever. So yeah, this is... What's going on? It's like, jokes at myself, but also as a case and all purpose in a new light, which is awesome. However, I, since they're not being clothed, I don't know if I can actually go ahead and do it, unless it's just completely believed nudist lifestyle L quote. Uh, sorry, I'm thinking back to a Nixium Macinema. Well, the guy was bleep naked, naked druid type thing. Uh, yeah. So I could go with that and just bleep it out with to both of my characters. Actually, that would be all of them. Yeah, that won't work because... Grr. Mm. Project for... Mm, do work for the script now, even though can't use clothes. Good. Okay. Now that that's out of the way. Here, thankfully I don't turn. <laughs> yeah. Personal. <laughs> well, this is actually in Warcraft, so I think I can load. I'm not entirely sure. I know you can do it on the gold, uh, golden. Valkyrie, or uh, but I don't know if you can load the succubus pet. I'm not sure. I have not looked at that at the creature list, so I don't know if I'm gonna accidentally do this. That joke. <laughs> uh, that's a warlock joke, accidentally. Um. Uh, so, <laughs> player two goes, 
you're not a warlock. You're not a warlock. First thing he's like, totally confused, and there's no yeah, confusing emote. So, yeah. Uh, and then my, no, wait, <laughs> I know someone who is a lock, excellent, or do I want the lock to be my brother or my sister? Wouldn't that be funny? Oh, wait, I'm a night elf, that means you can't. <laughs> Unless it's uh, an adopted... Oh wait, you're either adopted or you're a shapeshifter. Shapeshifter makes more sense in this, in my world. So, uh, so I'm either a lock as a warlock as well, or it's my brother or my sister or my cousin. I don't know. Uh, hmm, I don't know who is a warlock. But night elves can't be. If Sid went with that blood elf, then they, I can say, oh, but it was a blood, uh, a warlock in my previous life. Mind boom. I don't know. Well, wait. But again, I chose night elf, they can't be warlocks. So, but then again, since I just said reincarnation, I can say I was a warlock in my previous life before I wound up being a demon hunter. No backstory, because you have to have a backstory for your characters, and right now I, I'm no good on that. Uh, I can only go forward, not backward. Believe me, I tried. I had to do that. Uh, let me start again. I have a trouble writing words in stories going backwards to the previous point in my story. What the heck do I mean? Chapter 1. The beginning of your adventure. Flashback to a previous time. So my origin story was how did the wolves get the wings? How, and then thinking about okay, I met this human. Will this human be a in future? Will this human be in future installments of this story? Even though we are talking about like ten years before, well, this character is in chapter one. So, yeah, that's why I said I have trouble. Backstory's not my thing. Uh, I can only go forward, and yet somehow I managed to do an origin story anyways. But I screwed that up by, oh, name the same character in the past, your current character from chapter one. Book one. Yeah. So, origin story, chapter was supposed to be different characters. However, I named them the same characters as I was using them in the future. I see how that's confusing time travel. It hurts my head. So, yeah. That's fun. But, again, I never went back and finished that book. I, I should. And yet now I'm on this new chapter, so maybe I can actually figure out how- It's a pain to use Ark to build worlds. You can try, however, I... Try- uh, yeah, it doesn't really work. Somehow, well, I tried it, but the only thing I can do is hit, I think, randomizer, and it works, but if you input your settings, it will not work correctly. 
I don't know, maybe I didn't do it right even though I was following a guide or it's because the dev team on ARC said we are moving away from this project, leave it bugged. Again, leave it bugged and they never went back to polish it up. Could be both. But I was thinking was, okay, my story is in one, I need to find a lake in the snow. Meaning in the Arctic. I don't know if yeah, I need a lake or a pond that is in the Arctic. Or create a world with nothing but snow and create water inland. A pond, a lake. I don't know if you can just have one biome, but that could be a future idea. Because in my story, I'm in the Arctic. We have dragons, we have elves, we have wolves, but with wings, because that's my, my thing, was mythical creatures that don't exist. So, yeah, drakes, elves, slash human, because I kind of forgot what the character was. It's either human or it was an elf. But accidentally it turned into a friggin' dragon, but full blown. By that I mean the dragon, human, is supposed to be a, a humanoid dragon. It stands on two feet, has dragon features, a tail, wings, claws but again walks like a, a human so like uh what's the guy from devil may cry five uh not five four dmc4 i can't remember his name but he had the the uh the demon arm yeah but he's human not well part demon part human but yeah well so this dragon walks on two feet it, it's just basically, uh, yeah, uh, basically your, your, your model is human based, but your, all your texture is a dragon, dragon scales, etc. But instead I screwed up and made it a full blown dragon on four legs, not two. So instead of a dragon humanoid figure, it's a full-blown dragon. Um, the other character was a blackbird or some other bird, I'm not entirely sure yet because this book has changed multiple times on names and stuff, but the key thing was You have deities that are in the story, like actual deities. So, but the, the, the key thing was the humans took over the earth, right? The dragons were all over. The humans came in, took the land, Killed the dragons for those scales, man's bones. I I just was thinking scales, but bones as well. Not the heads for trophies, except that could be maybe. Uh, don't know. So humans took over the planet. They thought all the dragons were extinct. However, one clan survived. But they had to go to the freaking Arctic, the Arctic Circle, to get away from mankind because they are the last living clan to exist on Earth. Or so they thought. Um, 
technically this came from a book called Dragon Rider. Last, last clan, he had to uh, send a, a team to go on an adventure. They end up meeting another clan of dragons. Oh my god, well not the only ones. But, yeah. Mine's a little bit different because we have all these other elements. Magic, for one. That's a thing. Ghosts. That's another thing. Demons. I think I had a vampire drake uh, in the works, but and as I said, I never went back to the, the story. Uh, technically, it took on life on its own, of its own. I was writing and it took off on its own, like a new direction. Because I was editing one part and it turned into, okay, edit this one thing, turned into four pages of new text. Boom. New text, like, can you, wow. So we went from, I don't even remember because it's not in front of me, but the new text was, okay, you've fallen flat, he head first into the snow, okay, you're laying there in the snow, and you wind up in a deep trance, you astral project out of your body and you get pulled out by this demon who hints you're some someone, he lies, but you accept his lie only to then Later in life, you discover who you really are. Mind blown. But I was not going to write that, and yet somehow it ended up being that anyways. I think I was actually writing a vision that I was saying at that time. I. I don't know, it just came to me out of the blue, and I wrote what I saw, heard, entered my head. Crazy. Kind of like what I'm doing here, in a sense, but different. But yeah, that, that was fun. Uh, OBS seems to be doing better since I changed the screen resolution and I'm not trying to stream this <laughs> privately so my output is yeah 720 but yeah that that's fun I uh, yeah so hadn't or my sister or brother I don't know. No, wait. Um, I don't know how the what <laughs> this will be. I don't need to be. I am one. I don't need a warlock. I can cast any spell I want. I am not bound by this world's law. Actually, that fits. That fits because technically gods are not bound by anything. Not bound by any law. They can do whatever they want. Get away with it because earth laws don't matter. They don't- our laws don't affect them. Oh, what the heck do I mean? Uh, you can astral project whenever you want, pretty much, uh, and, uh, dream signs, maybe? I, I don't really know. The, the only one I can think of right now is astral project at any given moment, falling into trances easily, healing spells, 
meaning they know how to heal the body if they are sick or in pain. They know how to control the mind. They know how to control the body. And what's the other thing? Oh, they are not human conditioned, so they are on a whole nother level. That that's kind of why I said laws. So yeah. Uh, and then player three is like, okay, prove it. I'm not. Now, what type of emote do I need? emote do I actually need? The stealth emote to fade out? Oh, that actually makes sense. Yeah, I'll... Unless I use the new druid animation for shapeshifting, I... Or look at the actual demon hunter shapeshift. I don't know if while well, model viewer has those. This sound like okay. Uh, use druid shape shift animation or demon hunter. If that fails, if that fails, use stealth mode. Stealth sound, emote sound, then fade out. And then, well, how I did my, my intro, she jumps out of a crystal, but I can't really do that because she was hiding inside the crystal crystal and then it breaks she jumps out can't really do that when she's a standard now so you have to like do a fade out or uh, something gets in the way of her uh, and then just yeah so I'm not entirely sure wait what am I doing Oh. Yeah, that gives me an idea. That gives me an idea. Sun. Okay. Wow head. Not wow head. Wow heads. Sun. Daughter. Sunflower. Sun. Uh. Go up. I can't even think. Pet. Pets. I can find it as a. Oh, I can't. I know what it looks like. I can't think of the name. Okay, maybe if I click on this one. Oh, Simone. Sinborn. Was. Okay, lag. Okay. I know I can use this. Fades into uh, paste unformatted. Thank you.
I know it's not called that in Wild Model Viewer, but I did find a, a version of it. Now, do you believe me? Player... Player to... I think I want the dwarf to salute, but player three being... I think it was a void elf. He bows. He believe you. But I have no idea how to end this. Details more. Details more. We... Uh, right. Uh, player, okay. Player two says, I believe you. Player three is like, please teach me more. I idolize you. Okay, now I can't really do an emote. Player one. Fades back into the H. Bows then I can probably use some of the I also use a flirt. No, I don't I don't mm, no. No flirt. Emote. That will be for tomorrow's lesson. Thank you for for coming to the light lesson. My sacred first flight. Oh, it's got stuck on bold. Can I unbold you? No, I didn't say that. Thank you. Okay, I have to unbold all this. Said um thank you. And this is how I I do it. I write the script and then I figure out the emotes, the background, actually the background came first, but usually script first and then the background kind of unfolds itself. 
I know Nixium has shown what he does for his machinima making. He does screenplays. Like he writes in little boxes, says what he wants, and eats, and then counts. At it. Yeah, but for me, I write the script because I don't know how long to make it. I, I, everyone has their own method, and this is mine. Write out a script and go from there. I could do that in, in Warcraft, like an actual building, but senses of me finding the perfect spot is going to be rather difficult. But I wanted my my build that I did in Ark to be the theme. I want to build something myself. That's what I wanted. My theme, my building, my build. And that's what I did. And that is actually almost done on Ark. I have not gone back to fix the heads thing, heads wall, or create the leaf ceiling and see how that looks, but the heads wall seems to be working. So I can do... Okay. I put a glass wall, right? I can hide all the borders and it's now invisible. But invisible block, oh I mean barrier block if you are from Minecraft. Invisible block, aka barrier block. It is an invisible block, so yeah. But that's how I do my invisible stuff is with glass tarot. So then I I don't think those a glass villain. I know those stairs, but uh, nah, I'll th I'll figure it out. But yeah, I thank you for your time, and until we meet again.